Hello everyone, I am Rohit. I, on behalf of Sriravinda Society, would like to welcome all the teachers to one of the most successful and innovative idea sharing platform of India, ZIIEI, that is Zero Investment Innovation for Education Initiative. Here we will be discussing about new and innovative techniques for the different lessons from our chapters. And in short, we will learn how to make the whole process of learning fun and interesting for the kids. Today, the chapter that I'll be covering is from Class 5 NCRD Board. Subject is Mathematics and the name of the lesson is known as Boxes and Sketches. The innovation that I'll be using here for covering this lesson is known as Based Out of Waste. The innovation, the main idea behind this innovation is to integrate waste and modify it to help in the better understanding of the concepts of the lesson and also use waste as a medium of giving hands-on experience to the kids so that they can use all their possible senses to relate to the concepts that have been taught in the lesson. The duration for implementing this idea will be 45 minutes. And some of the important concepts that we'll be covering with the help of this innovation are building the concept that is a theme of the lesson and also explaining to the students the perspective of drawing 3D objects in the form of 2D. As a pre-arrangement for implementing this idea, we will be asking the students to bring waste um, empty matchboxes from their home one day prior to doing the activity. On the day of doing the activity, we tell the students that today we are going to, uh, we are going to do one activity with the help of the matchboxes that we have brought from our home. We ask our students to take out the matchboxes. Then we divide the whole class into two groups. We instruct the students in the following manner. We instruct the groups to each student should be in one, in the corners of the class in, of the classroom and with the help of the match boxes by placing the match boxes one over the other the students will be preparing a bridge out of the match boxes in such a way that it does not fall apart we give suffi sufficient time to the students to build the bridge once they have done building the bridge next we move on to give the students the perspective of how we draw 2D objects, 3D objects in the form of 2D. We tell the students that now since we have prepared the bridge, now we will be observing the um, bridges that we have prepared from all, from all possible sides. We give them time to do that. Once they have done that, we tell the students, ask the students to take out the notebooks. And in the notebooks, we ask the students to draw the front, the top and the side view of the match boxes. That is a bridge. We tell the students that the drawing that we are we're doing now is known as deep drawing. We give them sufficient time for that. Once the students have drawn the top side and bot top side and uh, front view of the bridge, we ask them to draw the height to uh, to draw a drawing which will represent the height of the bridge. Once they have done with it, we tell the students that deep drawings are those which uh, in which uh, which contains the 2D image of 3D objects. And if, if needed, we also guide them while doing the process. And when we start teaching the students in this way, we start getting a lot of benefits. First of all, the students will be developing the critical thinking process. They will be developing the decision-making process. Next, when the students will be interacting with us, teachers it will help in the development of interpersonal skills and communication skills and next we also tell the students that once they have built or drawn the drawing we are we can we tell them that the best drawing will be uh, kept in the classroom so that everyone can see so in this way when we tell the students it will also uh, build a sense of uh, responsibility in, among the students and also they will also learn about the theme of the lesson and also about the perspective of how 3D objects look in the form of 2D in a much more better and interesting way. And for this innovation, this idea, that's all. I hope you like this video and you start implementing this in your own classroom. And if you like this video and you want more of such videos from us, please do like, share and subscribe to our official channel ZIIEI.